Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. So sometimes when you work with photography or maybe um, some rendering, you want to add effect, booking effect. Booking effect that was happen when you have out of focus some lighting options. And here are some examples I took of the macro photography. And it's look very interesting, but problem is it doesn't have this kind of magic and add those uh, type lens distortion of the booking effect. Sometimes you need to spray water, put it properly um, light on a background. So it's kind of distortion and give it a very interesting effect. Even the image is looking interesting, but I think we can add a little bit more magic by applying or creating booking effect. And for this, I'm going to use Filter Forge. When I opened Filter Forge, what I found out that um, it wasn't any booking effect for me. So I needed to go ahead and create this effect from the scratch. So for example, you saw before one effect without and here we have a some with effect applied. So to create this effect, I was gone and created a filter editor. So let's go ahead and look how this filter is first working. And we also can look on some options. So right here we can see, um, okay, let me zoom out a little bit. This is look a little bit like overwhelmed filter, but it's actually very um, simple and easy to understand how it's work. Let's go right here first. We have it our input and we're using from our um, components when we have the image. Also what I took it and I actually created um, additional options at this point. Like for example, right here we have it our invert. And reasons why I'm using invert because I need it separate by threshold the brightest areas and the areas where I want to use it the booking um, effect applied because as normally if you look on a photography the booking effect will apply mostly on a bright area since how it's processed but also sometimes maybe people will be interested to booking to put it that effect on a darker area so and for this reason the invert um, the filter was applied here that i connected to the checkbox okay also if you want to separate this is actually kind of interesting because it was applied um, on different channels, but we'll go look on those ones in a second. So let's say right here we have it main effect. Next, we're going to um, the bomber, which is accepting particle effect. And you can see the particles were simulating the lens distortion. So we have our garden. We also apply um, the switch, which help us create black and white or a color type of distortion. So this is which will help us with that. And we'll go next to actually creating this circular type of the effect of the lens. Um, after this gardening, because we have it properly circular applying, moving to polygonal. Okay, and a polygon type is what are creating for us all these particles that Bomber will creating and put it in right places. The chance which control area where those particles will appear controlled by threshold or brightest area so you can see how it's easy by image we selecting areas where we want those particles to be displayed we also create a particles shape and we distributing them by using bomb also you notice that i control repeat and roughness and because it's gray it's meaning those controls it's what users can use it as an amount of details or example as a size and we look at those ones a bit more later and right here we have it from our bomber we have it to the blur it just in case um, reason because sometimes with photography the effect many times located a little bit on a back with more blur and that will apply to the particles to blur them on a background so it's kind of matching more with the GOF on your lens and of course next we go to the switch we're selecting from three different type of the main particles and also um, after this we'll have it our result a couple things what i want to say so we have a switch right here we can switch from different particles and we'll look on those two different type after but also you notice right here i have a different switch 
which is control um, different also type of the particles. So it's kind of color of black and white and also it's kind of make inverse effect on a lens on different um, particles. Okay, so this is one. Next, um, also I was saying how to create color particle. And for that one, I was simulating um, black and white type, but only I took and created a multiple five different color particles that will affect, um, create those colorful type um, lens distortions in the back. So this is actually all the connecting to other one. Uh, to the another bomber which also you can see like distribution for those color type of the particle one thing you will notice that lighting going from the bright to a bit darker and this is when you're creating um garden map elevation is what you need to see how real lens working and it's give it stronger effect outside because blur and almost like dissipation to the middle so this is what's simulating to this effect as well in a color you can set a background as a transparent so you don't have any black um, color going through and that is what give you this kind of semi-transparency effect that you can overlay um, the stars was creating by same using polygonal similar effect as before you're only controlling um, more towards the um, corners inner corners on other and that options actually control from the source and from the user the if statement was applied in this case because i want a uh, control lens inversion for all three different types so it's applied to all of them and currently checkbox control it selector for our type of the filter for first for the star effect we'll apply what kind of we want it a star or more kind of inversion type and also for the third one which we're using right here and this one is separation for the channels so what's happening some when you threshold maybe you want to place it book in effect just on the green areas red or blue um, I actually multiply them so we have it also the um, yellow we have it also purple in other colors so it's kind of give you six different areas you can place it for the more um, adjustment and swimmings. So now all this coming to ours where we have it, our standard booking effect, you can see right here, we have it, our third one, where we can apply um, colorful and we have it, another one for the star controller. Our switch, which allowed combine all of them and of course our output node. Um, the best way what you can do, you can go and check how its filter work inside and actually modify it that way. One thing you will notice right here, we have a coloring or a theme applied. And this is using by using average of the image color. So if you have a green, the all surrounding colors for our stars will be changing to match um, perfect coloring for our image. So let's go ahead and cancel, exit from this filter. And now we'll look how those options actually work with the image. Again, the filter editor just showing you overall idea or flow so you kind of understand when you're placing those book in effect, which area they will apply. This is a um, default preset. We'll go inside the settings. And right here you can see a booking every every coverage or the threshold. It's a way we can apply. So we can increase this threshold. So it's apply have it like more wide areas where they applied, or we can actually decrease it. To minimize area where the effect will apply it. in another case it's take a white or a higher value and kind of separating um, in case if you want just placed on a darker area you always can just inverse it so in this case you can see the book in effect will apply more in darker areas than light so in cases and also we have um, blur area age so what is actually looking on this you can look right here we have it our effect and right this edge it's where we have a different contrast be between layers so if we're going inside and um let's go open right here and you can see when we modify edge let me lock this one on a preview so we'll go inside and you can see we're modifying 
we can see level of the grays is how much it's changing. So we'll have a smaller type effect applied kind of and a more amount of the booking effect will apply here and smaller. So this is edge is what helping us to control the contrast level on this. Okay. Also, um, this is our inver inverted layer, so we can switch right here. Okay, and um, right here, let's go. You can see we can kind of inverse it. So it's help us to select different areas. Okay, let's go back. This is what edge will do for us. So if we want to have it a little bit smoother on the edge, we can apply this way. Okay. The booking type, if you remember, this is a three main different types of so one. We have it as normal. Second, we have it color ones, which applied. And third, we actually have it the stars. Okay, we can reduce the amount of details a little bit less so we can see them better. Okay, um, also we can apply the lens inversion, which is kind of switch between like example here is more we have a star effect or let's go look on a color so you can see we actually inversing color in this case so it's more work on a different type of lens or filter and same like on our first filter we have it our round ones and we can have it more with angular just slightly different type effect so this actually give it us about six different filters or six different types of the book and we can apply to that. Okay. Beside the, um, obviously we can increase, decrease the booking effect. This will increase overall cover. We have an opacity where we can make better blending with the original image. We also have an amount of the details which will bring more smaller and small details kind of to our image um to creating this the booking blur it's what i said so we'll take this layer of the bookings and try to blur them closer to the lens effect so sometimes you maybe want to increase so they kind of almost disappearing but you can see them maybe this is a little bit too strong you can go down to maybe about five so you can see some effects appearing. And again, this is um, depend how much you want to um, apply effect. In some cases, for example, if we go to the star effect, let's go increase right here, we'll increase details. And without a blur. So you can see we have a lot of stars. Okay, let me increase um, blades amount. And the blades, it's similar, simulated to how many blades on your lens you have it, on your aperture. In some cases, just think how many lines do we have it. So, for example, if I wanted stars with penny, I just go and adjust more. Or it's if we're doing other book size, it will be make a little bit smoother. So we create this one. And we can take some blur and just slightly increase, maybe, you know, two, two points. So it will give it this nice kind of look, almost matching our background with this. So this is what the blur for. And we already kind of look on a aperture blades. What it does, it's creating different um, amount of the blades you can go with. We also have it, um, when you work more with the star effect, you can apply different type of the star. And it's mostly kind of in shape. So this is a, of play around and see which one better fit for you. Okay, we have it also rotation. So for example, on a star effect, okay, let me go switch so we can preview better. Take a blur effect down so we can see the stars. And sometimes maybe you want to rotate to match some other lighting that already exists on an image. In this case, we can use the flare rotation and you can see the actual rotating around so you can adjust to match your um, lighting that maybe already exists on your image. Okay, edge, edge smooth, it's taken that this is side of the edge outside and kind of more blending with the 
make it more transparent to their background. Okay, the color zone, if you remember, this is one we can select and we say instead using old image, using the those six zones that we have and place the um, distribution of the booking in just those areas. So right now we kind of look on these options and let's go one more time back here. This is six zones, what we look last, what you can set and you can separate between using the our um, threshold or from main image, this distribution or using distribution based from our image. So and you can see right here, they're all connecting to our threshold, the full image or separating by the colors, which is controlling all our three different uh, booking effects from the chance where it's well distributed. We also look on this filters and a couple of things. You can see the star. Well, we have a control based on the lens inversions or actually this is our blades and you can see. So we can modify how many blades. Let's go right here. Okay, so we can go inside blades and you can see how we can increase, decrease them amount. So we'll go back to about six. So in many cases, you can see how they applied as well. Right here, we have our color lens that will applied and um, the same they're going inside the pool. Okay, so um, those blades will also affect if we preview right here. Okay, you can see the um, decreasing or increasing will also affect them as well. So you can have it smoother or a little bit more sided. And many cases when you create like this control, you can see I was linking to many other ones to make one universal control that will apply all the blades for all uh, different particles. And actually many controls done the same way. So in this case, just with one control, a user don't need to see all this mess that is working behind or how the filter work, all what front end when you need it, all what you know, you just have it size and this will affect everything. So you don't even care how many filters it's controlled or right here blades, which is controlled a lot of different objects. So you don't really kind of carry just one control um, blades or doesn't matter on any effect. Anyway, so here's kind of overview of the uh, controls on front and also how filter flow work for the booking effect. And I hope you enjoyed this effect. I will appreciate if you um, also add any additional improvements and let me know or show me work how you done and what you created with this. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember visit us on the web. It's www.geekatplay.com.